Oh, YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Oh, man. So we're talk today we're talking about Anne, the Canadian powerlifter. I'm sure you heard of her before we... Uh, heard of her. You heard of him. Before we continue, if you like and you want to subscribe at the end of this video, cool. Please do. Also, we are working our way toward the soundboard. You can always donate here. We are, always, uh, we are working to keep the production set up and keep it sounding good and nice for you guys. So, thank you. All right, let's get right into the video. DJ, why would you put that right back up after I said that? All right, let's watch. Uh, compared to a huge man like yourself, I would expect it not to be close to what you can do. Um, now let's watch this individual break a, uh, a powerlifting record. Powerlifting record by 210 pounds. How many times have you heard somebody break a record by 200 plus pounds? By 200 plus pounds. Normally, if somebody breaks a record, they break it by like a pound. Maybe 10 pounds. 210? Yeah. Let's watch. Now, I can speak it from experience. Uh, I was a state championship powerlifter back in my day. And I remember there was a girl. I trained a couple girls. I was obviously too intense for them. <laughs> I was a young man. But nonetheless, I was watching these girls, and I put them on the bench, right? And just the bar, just the man's bar, you know, women's bar, the 35 pounds. I'm talking about the barbell. And for the men, it's 45 pounds. So I put them on the men's. I've taken nothing of it because I'm a power lifter, you know? And even the girl that was on our team who was an amazing lifter, 45 pounds was not a ton. So anyway, I put this girl on there and she couldn't even balance the bar. I talk about took off the 45 pound, 45 pound bar and was like, I mean, struggling just to get it down and back up. And at that moment, I realized something. That there really is a huge gap between us men and women. I already knew that men are obviously not as strong as women, but I did not know that if I took a man who's never benched in his life and I took a same woman who never benched in her life, it is drastically different. Because I've had very small, skinny friends, right, who were not lifters like I was. And they, benching 45 was out of the question. You know, it wasn't even like, hard some of them may struggle with maybe 135 but just benching the bar i see no none of my male friends ever struggle with that and i'm talking about guys who don't even lift but this girl who was athletic by the way she wasn't a lifter but she was athletic in great shape played soccer everything could not lift this bar and so for this individual to say why are women so bad you're a grown man not only you're a grown man you're a power lifter you're obviously going to be stronger than the other women who are in powerlifting, right? It's, it's just crazy to me. And then this individual goes and breaks their records, but we're supposed to applaud this. And they say, and he says himself, the only reason he gets away with it, because he's nice. He's nice about it. He's nice about being a powerlifter and everything. Guys. Ah, man. I don't, I don't say this is, you know, hype myself up, but I guarantee you. I, I, if I was to go back into powerlifting, you could powerlift till you're a good 40-ish. I've seen powerlifters into their 50s, but, you know, your prime probably dies around 40-ish, right? The closer you get to 40, the closer it starts to die. I could go right now and go powerlift right now. And I guarantee you, I could outlift quite a few of the women. Maybe not the 
maybe the very top top. I'm talking about the very top woman. Maybe I couldn't do it now if I just walked into the gym. But if I train long enough, give me about a year or two, I could probably compete with the top women. The top men is completely different because they're they're lifting like a thousand some pounds. But I'm just saying, it's just crazy to think that we they think we're on the same level. I'm stronger than most men, percentage wise. You know, even based off my weight, if you put me in a percentile, I'll probably be in the top 10% of men who can lift, right? But I'm talking about all men. Not, not, and now, if we niche it down to powerlifters, obviously I'd be lower. But if we just put all men and just put me against all men, I'd probably be in the top 10% based off what my numbers were. I was the strongest person in college at the time. Um, but at the same time, man, it's just like, I don't see why anybody would take pride in beating somebody who you know you're stronger than. You know, I'd rather somebody beat me out and be the one who's embarrassed and go maybe challenge a little kid to lifting and be like, yeah, I'm so much stronger than him. I'm so glad about that. It's crazy. Why do we want, why do trans women, men, why do men want so badly to beat out these women? It's like, it's like, when I, when I think about it, it's just like when you, there are so many men who enjoy watching women get beat up. And what I mean is when you go to watch those YouTube videos of women gets destroyed by man, you see those videos are super popular, but what kind of man takes enjoyment in watching that? There's men who will be like, Hey guys, I'm just letting you know there's a difference. Because they want to protect women. They'll be like, hey, don't don't believe the hype. Men tend to be stronger. Don't go out here trying to pick a fight with a man. I can understand those videos. But the men who take real pleasure in watching a woman get beat up or watching a woman get owned by a man in a uh in a a feat that is that normally has to do with strength, such as like fighting, such as like maybe football or something like that, something that men tend to be uh stronger and more athletic in. Men take too much pride in that. They're like glad to see it. I don't like those videos. I don't look at those videos and go, man, I'm so glad to see that I'm stronger than a woman. It, I take no pride in that. That's not my job in this world to prove myself every single day that I'm stronger than a woman. I don't, I don't, and if a woman came up to me and said, you're stronger than me, cool, you have, you got it, fine. I don't take any pride in proving myself to you, but too many young men these days, they do that. They want to prove themselves against young men. I mean, young women, when they should be proving themselves against us other men, if they want to do that, if they want to be like a bodybuilder, or if they want to be a powerlifter or a weightlifter, if you want to prove yourself, prove it to against other men, but proving it against other women just to say that you're superior is just goofy to me. But it gets applauded. But you know what? I'm never going to applaud it. Not going to be with this person. Don't care how they feel. We need to just be like, man, this guy's goofy. Just call it what it is. Goofy. It's sad. Sad to watch. A man go destroy whoever the now the woman who held the record. Not only is her record broken, she ain't never going to get it. Her record got beat by 200 pounds. Trust me, when you weight lift, you don't go from breaking your you don't have a record for your strongest lift ever. And then increase that by 210 pounds at the next meet. That woman will probably never get to see that record ever again. Not including that this man can get stronger. That record's gone forever now. It's just sad, man. It's sad that people really want, some men really want to just see women fall and they don't care anything about them. But let me know what y'all think in the comments section down below, man. Obviously, there are a host of stuff we can say, but the obvious is already there. Goodbye.